Subscribe Techie SMS if you want to learn and make electronics and IoT projects. And as there is no particular time period of uploading my videos, do click on that bell icon so that you can get notifications whenever I upload a new project. Hello everyone, welcome to another project tutorial video from Techie SMS. Now in this video, we're going to learn and make a device which can send the real-time value of the sensor to our smartphone from anywhere in the world. Now if you want to know how to make a such a device, then watch this video till the end and I will let you know how to make it. So without wasting time, let's get started. For making this project, you'll require one ESP8266 board and any sensor. For explaining, I have used this 14.7mm force sensor. To buy this component, do visit our shop at techiesms.com shop. Here you will get a link of the product after comparing the ratings and price from several e-commerce websites. And not only that, you'll also get all the related information regarding that particular components. So do shop from Techie SMS shop. It will not only save your money and time, but it will also help us to support our channel. Now moving on towards the hardware. The hardware connection for this project is something like this. Now the rest of the work is done by the code. So let's move on to the coding. Now before coding, first of all, you need to make an account in adafruit.com. So first of all, we'll visit the website called io.adafruit.com. Uh, we are doing this, we are following this step as we are using or we are gonna use the Adafruit MQTT broker for our project. Mm. Okay, so in this you need to, uh, you know, create an account. So go, go in the sign in option. Okay, so need an Adafruit account. So you need to go into sign up and uh, fill up the details. After filling up, uh, uh, click on this create account so as soon after you create your account go into sign in option as I already created I will just log into my account okay so sign in name techie SMS and password is already saved uh, sign in okay so after you get <coughs> sign into this account you will get a page like uh, this so you need to here you need to create a dashboard so i will just uh, remove this and will let you know by creating <coughs> again creating this dashboard so okay as soon as you will uh, create an account you will get a window like this uh, you won't be seeing this all dashboard because uh, this all i have created for different different projects uh, so for your case you need to create uh, click on actions and uh, create a new dashboard uh, give a friendly name uh, for my case i will give it as a force sensor and you can write or uh, uh, it's an optional you can write description or you can leave it as it is click on create So after that clear go into this force sensor And click on this plus sign Now here you have uh, got so many options now for our case as we are going to monitor the value of a sensor We will click on this gauge uh, Because this uh, ga uh, gauge will only display the you know values and uh, this is what we want now you need to create a feed name here I, as I already created this feed name okay I will let you know by creating another so the feed name uh, will be I need to delete this and create okay you just need to write here as force force and it will create a, what you can say a feed so I already created so I will just tick mark it and click on the next step and here we will get the uh, uh, a block title as the feed name then gauge minimum value and maximum value so maximum value in our case it will be the limit of the integer which is 1024 so i will uh, change this maximum value and gauge width okay you can uh, put it as thick or thin as per your choice it doesn't make uh, any difference uh, then click on this create block okay we successfully created a block now we can jump into the coding so for coding uh, you need to download the library uh, you need to download the Adafruit MQTT library whose link is given in the description uh, of this video. So I will just uh, <clears throat> open the Arduino. You need to copy and paste that uh, library in this uh, libraries folder of uh, your Arduino. Okay, so after that uh, go to files, then examples. Adafruit MQTT library and go to MQTT ESP266 example. We're just gonna modify this example code. 
okay so first of all you need to write your SID name and password as uh, the ESP need to get connected with the router as it uh, requires an internet connection <coughs> After that, you need to provide the Adafruit username and AIO key, which is provided in this uh, uh, only. The first thing or other, you can click on this uh, key button and you will find this. This is the username. In my case, it is Techie SMS. I will just uh, paste it here. And the AIO key is nothing but this active key. Let's copy it and paste it. After that, moving further, uh, as we just need to uh, publish one value to the server, <clears throat> we just uh, need to you know have this publish what we can say variable and we'll just comment it out uh, this subscribe one as we are not going to subscribe and i will subscribe anything this got stuck okay so i'll just comment out this line as we don't need to subscribe anything uh, we just need to publish a value to the server after that uh, uh, no need to change here uh, you can just comment out this line also as this is for subscribe one mm, I will delete out this this is also for the subscription and the main thing is here uh, you can change the name of a photo shell or you can leave it as it is and uh, no problem okay so here I have attached the sensor at uh, analog pin zero so I will just uh, write as uh, integer sensor is equal to a0 and uh, we need to define sensor as output in the setup so pin mode okay sensor comma input after that uh, here you need to publish on value so i will just create as integer force value is equal to analog read sensor and he will just publish value called force I'm sorry force value and if it is published it will, it will say okay and if it is it fail it will print a fail in the serial monitor and I will be publishing this uh, uh, every second okay so this is just about the code now we will upload this code one thing we haven't changed here it is photo shell as i have feed names that's changed to a force rather than the photo shell we just need to change here and now we need to again upload it a feed name changes according to uh, your account if you choose another feed name uh, right like force underscore sensor or force sensor or anything like that you just need to change the feed name here and also in that android app and uh, that will be c further so it started uploading Okay, we successfully uploaded. So we'll just move on to that uh, dashboard and observe our readings here. Oh, so this is the hardware or this is the sensor. And as you can see the uh, dashboard, a uh, gauge value, which is right now at uh, position two or the value two. I will just, uh, you know, first of all, press it smoothly. And as you can, you will observe the slight changes in the value. So this is the soft touch and we'll just press a little harder. Okay, harder, harder again harder and harder H. okay so this is the limit raised of 1024 i will just uh, release the okay smooth again soft 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 hard hard okay so likewise you can observe there is a real time uh, 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 we can measure the values of the sensor real time and this is a uh, going through internet so we can observe it from anywhere in the world uh, we can log into our Adafruit account and we can observe this data and if you don't do again and again want to log into your account you can use the android app now uh, how to configure the android app let's see for configuring the app you need to download an app called mqtt dashboard from play store go to play store and type mqtt dashboard install this particular app after installing this app click on uh, open Okay, click on this plus sign, I'll give a random client ID, for example, one server in our case is io.adafruit.com uh, as we are using the Adafruit MQTT service for port MQTT port is 1883 and for username and password, you need to log into your Adafruit account. So go to Google Chrome, uh, create a new tab and uh, type io.adafruit.com. 
now let's go to sign in now sign in to your particular account now we'll click on our uh, uh, what can say required dashboard which is force sensor and click on this key icon here as you can see the tech sms is my username so i will just type uh, uh, a tech sms it's my username section and for password is nothing but this uh, active key i will just copy this and paste it here okay then click on create now go to this menu uh, as we need to subscribe uh, we'll go to subscribe uh, option and click on this plus sign uh, give a friendly name like a force sensor or force value and topic name now for topic name the format is the first of all username which is tech sms in my case forward slash f w -E d s feeds forward slash the feed name so in my case the feed name is uh, for that i need to go to setting and again the setting icon and the feed name here is f o r c e force so i'll just write here f o r c e okay so click on create now we successfully configured the app now let's see it in action Okay, so this is how you can live monitor your sensors reading or any sensors reading from anywhere in the world through your smartphone or on your smartphone. So this is it about the project. And yes, don't forget to buy components from Tech SMS shop. Uh, you can buy any component from there and that will help us to support our channel. And that will also provide some benefits to you just like it will save your time of searching for, you know, uh, uh, component which have a reasonable price and uh, you know very much good ratings and it will save your time of uh, searching out the data sheet searching out the libraries pin diagrams getting started videos project videos and almost everything so do visit tech shop today and uh, for such upcoming project tutorials do subscribe my channel and uh, stay tuned for the next project till then explore learn share with me tech sms